<laughs> Happy Monday <laughs> and welcome to the Davis's Eats and we're eating scallops tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm Nikki. I'm Chili. We're the Davises still. Yep, still. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to change. Hopefully not. Welcome to our kitchen and uh, it, it's Monday. It's yeah. been a Monday. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so we are eating scallops. We're we're seafood hungry, mm -hmm. and the weather is a little bit cooler yeah. this week. So we've been out nice, and about. Nice little breeze off the Gulf. <laughs> yeah, all ten hours away from the Gulf. Yeah, I know. Oh, That's good okay. grief! Um, we don't even have like the lake effect breeze yet <laughs> where we're at. Nope. Um, we have swimming pool breeze. That's about yeah. it. So. But with our scallops and our vodka cream sauce and mm -hmm. our pasta and zoodles, what are we making to drink? We are making a lemon drop martini. One of my favorites. One of your favorites. One of my favorites. So what do you, when you, we're doing a martini, what do you have to do first? Rim the glasses, don't you? Order it from the bartender. <laughs> yeah, we're not ordering it. Are we rimming glasses? We're rimming glasses. All right, I can manage that. I'll let you rim some glasses. That light is like really bright right there. We need well, to maybe be fine. move that later. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so we're rimming glasses. Yep. So just a lemon. Yep. And just get some stuck. Because we're using lemon because we're using lemon drop martinis and some just plain old white sugar. Everybody, oh, Whoop. you missed some there, dear. I did. Uh oh. It's okay. Yep. Oh, we got it. Yep, you got it. There's one. So, Lemon juice around the edge, and then some little white sugar. I guess if you were in it. Miami, it'd be cocaine, but it, we're not. So Jeff Davis, <laughs> just plain old white sugar. We are not. I don't know. I don't have a real um, rumor here. Well, we're working. We're using lids. We're using from other what we have. <laughs> We're using whatever we got. All so. right, there we go. We can right. use those for garnish. Hello, Judy. So then to make your martini, we're going to use some Tito's vodka. We're going to throw in, because we're making for two, we're going to throw in four ounces of Tito's. There's two ounces. It's a little bit more than two ounces, but not much. Well, you know, are, you're making, are you making two or four? I'm making two. Okay. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. And then when we run out, I'll make another batch. All right. That'll work. Yeah. That's. Uh, this is limoncello. Luxardo. Also one of my favorite things to drink. I love that stuff. It's a little bright, but yeah. And yeah. Well, the <clears throat> bright light. So we're going two ounces of Luxardo. Lemoncello. Lemoncello. And, uh, <laughs> only a few brands where we live, so we're not necessarily yeah. brand then, picky on that. And then the uh, recipe calls for an ounce of triple sec, and I don't like triple sec as so much as using, I yeah. like Cointreau. So we're using Cointreau. We're going to high shelf this martini. Well, Mid shelf. It. We're we're not in college anymore. We can That's afford right. a little bit higher on the shelf these days. <laughs> Move up. The, <laughs> That's up one of the, the benefits of being a you know grown human. Yeah. And then our standard <laughs> bottle of fresh squeezed <laughs> lemon right juice. Right out of the refrigerator. Straight out of the fridge. We're gonna go a half ounce with this. And then because neither one of us is sweet enough, as is, especially being... Oh, I'm incapable of being sweet enough. We're doing another teaspoon of sugar, plain white. You can use simple syrup there, too, if you wanted, but there's enough lemon juice in that. Yeah. It's going to dissolve pretty quick. Yeah, it'll dissolve. Shake Throw your shake. cap on. And we'll just shake her up. And we're going to have one of my favorite martinis. One of yeah. I have two favorites, this and dirty, very dirty. So I'm kind of on both ends of the spectrum with my super martini. Super sweet and super dirty. You sure there's two in there? <laughs> no, no, you're good. 
you did that pretty well there, splitting it between the two glasses. Yeah. That was just because of my little extra pour on the vodka. Yeah, and if I had more lemon than what I have, we'd have a cute little garnish, but I don't, so we're not. Yeah, so we're not going to have one. So garnish. I'm going to step back into the camera I got out of your yeah, way. That's okay. So cheers to cheers. another week. Yep. Mm -mm. Those are good. Yep. What's up, Paul T? Hey. So we got a couple people watching. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who made that face right there. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what point they made that face. That's right. The, that's um, the, the good part. Hey, Aunt Deb. So, lemon drop martinis mm -hmm. and seared scallops, yep. which we're going to talk about how to how to make scallops and how to sear them, we'll just say appropriately. Yeah. Um, pardon me while right, I drink. Right. And we'll make <laughs> more of these as the night goes on. Yeah, we might need more of those. Um, and pasta, which I've already mm -hmm. made. But I'm going to show you how to make zoodles. And if you don't know what a zoodle is, ask away. Um, but check in with us. Tell us what you're having for dinner, what you're drinking for dinner. Okay. Solid or I'm, liquid? I'm taking this with me. Thank Go you. Go for it. All right. So where do you want to be? Over um, there with the cutting board? Sure. Scallop potatoes? No, not scallop potatoes. Mollusks, 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 scalloped mollusks, scallops. Okay. Oh, there's your mama saying wow about the drink. Ha -ha. Oh, must she must have missed the earlier commentary? She must have the, the South Beach commentary. <laughs> oh, geez, I hope she missed the South Beach commentary. Yeah, um, you got me. Okay, so yeah. before I get going too much here, I need to, I've got a pan on low heat, I'm going to turn up to medium high heat. I've got a tablespoon of butter in it, and to that I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we'll talk about scallops. So I'm, okay. Oh, well, hey. Hey what? Um, I need to adjust your... Because it's showing me in the... Oh, no, well, it's okay. Oh, we would rather much rather oh, be you. Oh, hi. <laughs> There now they're now they can see you. Okay. Instead so, of me. So these are sea scallops. And they are very large. Yep. Large and in charge. And um as opposed to bay scallops, which are the little bitty, little bitty guys. And it, honestly, either would work in what we're doing tonight. I just haven't had these in a while. So there you go. Um I like playing with them too, in case you can't tell. I can't keep my hands off the damn scallops. Um, so they are, are shellfish. And when you cook these, they don't take long to cook, even though they're kind of on the big side. A couple minutes on each side, seared in the pan, and that's all it's going to take. If you overcook them, they get a little... Um, rubbery is not quite the right, right word to describe, but like too firm. It's just too much. So sea scallops... Anytime you cook um, shrimp, scallops, shellfish in general, mm -hmm. you want to make sure it's super, super dry. And these, I um, bought them frozen. We can't find them. We don't get them fresh where we live. Um, so thawed them, let them drain. And it, they actually, there were a lot of moisture came out of them, a lot of liquid. Um, put them on paper towel lined plate. And you saw when I got started, I had another paper towel over and just pat them dry. That's all you have to do. But you want to make sure they're really dry. Otherwise, they're not going to sear as well as you want them to. They'll get so, soupy. Part of the what you're cooking tonight, the mm -hmm. zoodles, yep. your aunt's never made. She was just talking to Ashley about that. She's never made them before. Well, welcome to it. Yeah. I'll show you how to make them. Yeah. I'll, we'll talk about a different, couple different ways you can make them. Yeah. Um, so let's get these in because it's not going to take very long. And if you want to shift me to... The big one? Yeah. The big pan. There you go. Oh, so they had grilled steak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, zucchinis. Mm -hmm. As best I can, I'm going to get them sat in here upright. As flat as possible. As flat as possible, but they're kind of... They're a little yeah. cross cut. cut. Cut on the bias. Well, you don't cut scallops. They just come out. Yeah. 
because they've been frozen and that yeah they're just by the vacuum seal but you know what if you've got good quality frozen seafood where you're at they'll be fine it's fine um but you want to give these guys plenty of room two minutes you say two minutes on each side it's all, all right. okay i'm watching the clock okay doesn't mean that i got second hands but i, I do have a minute hand all right i got a second hand now okay I'm going to save my plate because I'm going to need it later. I have a dog in the way. She's always and we're going to we're gonna do these before we do much of anything else because I don't want to get... Actually, I probably could have done the zoodles first, but we'll warm these and reheat them a little bit. Um, 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> we're timing it. That's yeah. awesome. So we're going to cook these, set them aside. Um, and then when we get all the pasta and the sauce done, I'll kind of embed them back in the pasta a little bit so they heat back up. Um, this was, I don't remember. I, this was probably a couple of pounds. One minute. Okay. Of pasta. Not, or not a pasta, as scallops. Um, but somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. I, I will say they are not cheap where we live. Um, so the little bitty bay scallops are a lot cheaper it's because they're um, not as good well that's true <laughs> um, but they would work fine and to be perfectly honest with you shrimp would work fine in this recipe too but yeah. we're just we were this is what we were hungry for <laughs> I wanted we, scallops. Haven't, yeah, we, haven't had them we haven't managed to get to the beach in a couple of years for some strange reason um and there are nine of these and that's perfect for a family of three it is so I'm just, I'm, like it's like bread i'm not seconds. gonna walk away from it 20 seconds Okay. Oh, Debbie says that she'd be embarrassed how many tell us how many fried squash she had the other night. Oh, well, let's talk about fried squash while we're yeah. waiting on the we fried. Had, we had fried squash the other night. Here, we, uh, five seconds. Um, when did we go through six? six? I fried six of them for us, and yeah. it was mostly you and me eating them. Phoebe didn't eat very much. No, Phoebe did not dig into the fried squash. That's a, th that fried squash thing's in Midwest. I think that's it in is. Midwest. Yeah. They're delicious though. Midwest They're better than potato rural. chips. Oh geez, yes. Yeah, so much better than potato chips. So good. All right, you're Yeah, you're, we're not quite there. there. Okay. Yeah, you're not there yet. So we're gonna we're gonna let them go a little longer. Yeah. What you want on the bottom is a nice golden brown, yeah. not not Flat completely you across. Need to go grab your drink and have a drink. Maybe that'll quicken them up. Oh, right. I could do other things, but I'm afraid that it's going to get away from me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jill. Hey, Jill. Um, you want a nice golden brown color, but not necessarily an entire layer of it. We're at three minutes now. How much? Three. They're getting there. Okay. Right, I'm going to flip them. And I'll hold one of these little guys up. Um, so you should have a nice golden brown on both sides. So we're at three minutes on each one. Okay. Okay. And kind of logistically, this is the top and the bottom. <laughs> but then on the round side you want them slightly nope. opaque oh, bob asked if they were cold from the fridge or left out to room temp all the way through before cooking i brought them to room temp okay. and yeah all the way through all right um, as close as possible yeah they were probably out for 20 minutes 25 minutes all right, so and that know. also let me because they had been in the fridge after i thought them they really lost a lot of liquid so that let me pat them dry a lot yeah better. keep them dry get them okay. get them drier and when they start to, you know, get a little jiggly. Mm -hmm. I'm I need to, clearly falling behind here. You need to catch up there, dear heart. I'm going to have to get some more ice. Ooh. And yeah, I check mine a lot to make sure they're... We're going to have to change the name of this to like No Pain Monday Nights. I have hot spots on my pan, I think. Uh-oh. That's okay. 
Mostly, I wasn't quite over the middle of the heat. My pan's bigger than my burner. Yeah. Clearly. Making another one? I'm making two more. Well, I'm making two more. All right, then. Wow. This recipe is easiest to make whenever you're making two at a time. The Davis is eat and drink, I think, is what we need to be calling this show. Well, it might be drink and then eat. <laughs> How about drink while you eat? Yeah. Drink while you cook. We're going to do a little Julia Childs here for you. We we frequently pull a Julia the, Childs. Sample the sherry. All right. Here's here's one that's looking really good here. Oh, Hopefully. Good. Yeah. If you guys can see the lighting in here is not great, but well, that, that nice camera's, little tar. That camera's a little bit on the cheap side. Well. Well, you don't want to put the, the expensive camera over. The expensive camera over the stove. Over the stove. All right. I'm going to pull these off. Because we're going to reheat them a little bit later, so I don't want to accidentally overdo. I'm going to keep my pan on low so it's ready to go when I am ready with the pasta. Okay. Set these aside. Here, actually. Are we still on that? Yeah. Yeah. You guys see them. There we go. Shadows. Shadows and... Wonderful camera angles. Now I'll talk about zoodles. Okay. I'm going to shake here in a second, so you may not be able to be heard. Or I'll just hear about this. I'll turn my... I'll mute myself. Okay. <laughs> I do need a scene change, though. Okay. So these are local zucchini. From, I'm going to save one for another meal. I had six two days ago. We eat them fast. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to save that one for another meal. Okay. My hand's cold. So I'm going to trim the ends off. Yeah. I'm going to fill you up. Well, I, you know, I talk, so I don't... I know, I know you talk. Okay. I'm not complaining. Just means and more for me. It, making sure they'll fit. It fit, okay. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Make sure it fits. We're, we're both at about the same level again. Look at that. See? Mm -hmm, I see. No, look. Okay. We're both at about the same level. Gotcha. All right, so I have um, this little guy. We haven't done fried zucchini and fried squash at the same time, I don't think. No. Nope. In fact, I don't think I've ever made you fried zucchini. Maybe. Nope. We do fried um, squash. So this is a $15 spiralizer from the Walmart or the Amazon or the Target or wherever you want to buy them from. And I'm going to try to set this up. So it's got little suction cup feet on them. Um, I also have one for my KitchenAid. I've got a great big spiralizer when I want to do a whole lot of things. But for a zucchini or two, I don't I don't mess with it because it's a lot of moving around with the equipment. Um, cutting board on this side. And what this is going to do, there's actually three different places to this one, but what I have in here, ooh, sorry. Oh, is your zoodle noodle? Is the is a thicker of the zoodles, zoodle noodle. Ah. Um, you Thank could zoodle you. yellow squash. I mean, anything that will don't, fit. No, you don't do that with yellow squash. Yellow squash is only yellow good for one thing. Yellow squash gets fried, okay. It gets fried. Clearly, right. it's only good for one thing. It, it gets fried. only good okay. for one thing in this house. Um, it gets fried. This piece right here is what's going to go in the center right here of the zucchini. Do it a little shove. Yeah, we'll shove. Oh, Holly, you need to move that just a little bit to your left because it's, or up even. Because you're, there you go. You were cutting Well, I'm trying to, your... yeah. Okay. Now, what I will say is this is not, you know, a it's, it's, it works. It's, it's not the best quality of equipment, but I bought it for food demos. So I really it's, wasn't too concerned it's, about it. It's not the, the KitchenAid behind you? It is not the KitchenAid behind me. Yeah. Because it moves around a lot. But I'm going to get my work out. Yeah, see, that's... Here, I'll hold. I'll hold. No, I can hold it there. Okay. 
that that prevents them from seeing the. Mm -hmm. It's got this little handle here, but that doesn't work with the poop either. But it does. It does its thing. There you go. And you guys can see all those sure. shooting out the. And. There you go. Ugh. Well, you know how I am. I got to get the last piece in. Get the last piece. Ah. Take the last piece. Give it to the dog. Okay. So there's a little see, hole there because it. Here, you want it? Will you eat it? You try. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll eat it. And here's what comes out. That's all that's left. And oh, you have all these. Mila wants that piece. She was really pissed. That, that sugar, sugar came yeah. out with something. So you have all these wonderful spaghetti noodles. Now, it, it it almost never breaks. So you get these really long strands. So if you want to take a knife to them or a pair of scissors, that works, which is what I'm going to do here and kind of cut these. Okay. So where do, the, where do the zoodles go? Do we get to cook them up too or no? Oh, yeah. We're going to cook those oh, okay. up. Well, I'm just asking. But I'm going to do this last the second one so oh, everybody my. has enough zoodles. Oh, yes, Because I please. know you all want zoodles. I definitely want zoodles after having zucchini at lunch too. I made stuffed zucchini boats for lunch. They were so good. Even mm -hmm. Phoebe liked them. Delicious. <sighs> But you're complaining. <laughs> could be worse. I could make you eat Totino's pizza rolls. I grew up on shit like that. I'd be okay. You wouldn't live, uh -oh, uh oh, very long. Well, I didn't say I would. That might have been uh, your mother hollering at me for bitching. That's about right. Might have been. Pizza rolls. Take that shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see. Now okay. you're screwed. Now, <laughs> now you've done it. You pissed the old lady off. <laughs> She's back from the grave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the kitchen witch that's sitting up here is not doing a wrong good job keeping me from screwing things up. Okay. Oh, no. It won't pull that way. You have to, <laughs> you have to pull out. <laughs> I've never been good at pulling out. <laughs> okay. So now we have this heap and mop of literally just take a pair of scissors to them it's not going to hurt them a bit and you get a little bit smaller bite there um i'm going to mix these in with some spaghetti yeah or you could eat these by themselves either way there's a whole lot of them here so i'm going to be eating a whole lot of them by myself okay let me get this out of the way i'm gonna take another drink after that episode So for these, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these. More butter? Yeah, so. You want me to go over to that screen? Yeah, it doesn't take much. They're, there we go. It doesn't take much with zucchini anyway. No. But this is so thin. Everybody um, likes butter though. Her, oh I've yeah. I've never met anybody who doesn't know what else. You can aside, season these. Aside from the vegans that, you know. Well, clearly, but they, they can just have margarine, I guess. Um, yeah, because that's just oil. Yeah, it's just oil. Okay, so butter. The, these will take a few minutes to mm -hmm. saute down, mm -hmm. and um, would you get down in there and get one of those Tupperware bowls out? Or mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably the easiest. <laughs> Did she eat that zucchini? Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt on these. Where? Which one? No, down. Sorry, guys. I need something to put the zoodles in when I get them done. Like the like the dark blue in the work. Thank you. Okay. Um, season these with whatever you want. Salt, pepper. I've got a tomato salt from Germany that I love, 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 love. Any kind of seasoning will go with these based on what you're cooking. A little bit of pepper? Yeah, for this, I'm going to just do salt oh, and pepper because yes. I've got salt coming with them later. Ooh. And it's it's kind of that simple. Um, I don't like mine mushy. Mm -hmm. I cook them enough to 
kind of pick up the flavor or whatever. Is when you're the making pan. a vodka cream sauce, is that what you said? Yep. Oh, man. Hopefully you don't use up all our vodka because we have more martinis to make. Turn the back up. Okay, I'm going to let those sit for just a minute. Our sauce, mm -hmm. while those are cooking, yeah. is three-quarter cups of vodka. I better put that off to the side for you. Um, or half a cup of vodka. Somewhere in that neighborhood is I'll fine. I'll give you three-quarter cups, maybe. Um, the alcohol is going to kind of cook out of it, not uh, entirely, because we're not why cooking. Why am I giving you good vodka? Because we don't have not good vodka. I know. And it's like wine. Don't cook with things. That's plenty, actually. That's, That's plenty. three quarters cup right okay, there. Perfect. Right, right Man, on the I'm good. <laughs> um, with lemon, lemon zest, garlic, um, a quarter cup ish of cream. Mm -hmm. Now, if I don't and... have enough vodka left for more martinis, you're not getting any more. That's fine. All right. I'm okay with that because okay. I'm. Bit of a lightweight these days. You are. And tarragon. Oh, yes. All right. And see, these are like already done. Yeah. I, I don't do much other than out of the way, Shug. Look at that. Like right on it. Right on it. Yeah. It's like I haven't had in a drop. To, I think I actually pour better when I have had a couple. Well, you probably do. I all right, now what these did do was soak up my pan drippings, which is also okay. And it's okay that there's a little bit left that's going to end up being in that sauce. All right, these are going to go over here. So to the pan, because I lost some of my pan drippings, I'm going to step over the dog. Yep. Or am I here? Okay. Yeah, you're on the pan. Just enough. A little Earl fat left in there yeah a little bit of oil, a little bit of now if you're drink. if you're doing this and you still have pan drippings when this vodka goes in you're going to want to scrape up whatever little crumbles are left yeah i'm going to pour that vodka in last oh my okay i'm going to turn that back down we're going to, you can put it back over here if you want. Okay. I'm going to try not to make you guys see sick here. Hey, we're fine. All right, a little bit of garlic. I really like this garlic press. I think you need one more. I think you're right. I'm going to set that there for a moment. I've got half a lemon I'm going to use. Some cream. And... Do you need me to get into the garlic and get you another piece? Oh, Chili wants more garlic. That's what I told you. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I'm not going to use this much tarragon, but it's all stuck together. Whoa, almost lost it there. Um, Thank you. Tarragon has a bit of a licorice flavor, so if you're not into that, use parsley instead, and that'll be fine. We're gonna kind of using up the end of the good here because it's been in the fridge for a while. If you're not um, doing that, then okay. grab more butter. Okie dokie, I've lost my knife. Dogs, dogs in the way. I'm just chopping enough of this to give it some flavor and chopping it enough to you release that flavor and some of those oils. You don't have to do much to it. All right, now we're ready to go. Everybody got quiet there. I don't know why. Beats me. They're mesmerized by They're my mesmerized garlic Mesmerized by your oh, abilities. Gosh, you gave me a... I didn't give you the biggest one. <laughs> I didn't. I honestly oh. set that one aside and said, no, nah, I'll get in trouble Good if I Lord. need the biggest one. But it's I gave huge. You the second biggest one. All right, we got enough. All right, throw me back over here. No, you don't need garlic. There you go. Thank you. All right, we're gonna put garlic in. More garlic in. More vodka in. 
We've got some zucchini that charred up there. I'll take that out. All right. Don't let your garlic burn. I can already smell it. It's on low. I know. Okay. Oh, that smells good. Doesn't it? That smells delicious. And if you have a pan that's getting too dry. More butter. Yeah, just enough to keep it from burning stuff. Mostly because I'm not working fast enough here. Because somebody's flying me with lemon drops. You All haven't right. been drinking it. Make sure if you've got a gas stove, it's on low when you add alcohol to the pan. Then all those charred bits. Oh, they're picking up flavor. Yeah. Just remember. They are picking up brown equals flavor. flavor like nobody's business. Black is burned, brown is flavor. Mm -hmm. Lemon does not go this way, goes this way because you want the juice to press out that way. Oh, it's not going the other way. Mm -mm. Okay. okay, now we're going to get this up to a bit of a simmer so it thickens a little bit. And when I made the pasta, I saved some pasta water to use as a thickener. Yeah. Um, and if it still isn't as thick as I want it, I'll get the cornstarch out and show you how to do that. Damn right. Any woo, questions? No, anybody got any questions? Or are you just gonna, you know, watch me drink? <laughs> Why? I'm pull a Julia. I can't even say it. Julia Child. Uh, Julia Child. Hope we don't get sued for saying that. By who? Her descendants. The foundation. <laughs> hey. I'll give them all the profits that we've made so far On off of show. our YouTube and Facebook show. There we go. Every blasted nickel. Which is less than one. Much less than one, yeah. Now. If, if they'll cover the cost of production, <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> You're silly. I'm telling you. I'll be nice. I know you'll be nice. All right, so I'm going to do about a third of a cup of cream oh, to get I us need started. More. I need some more sugar. Now, sugar. Um, old wives tale that alcohol burns off when you're using alcohol. What? <laughs> you want to say that one again? <laughs> nope. So when you cook with wine or whiskey or vodka or beer, some sort of alcoholic beverage. The, the lower proof shit. The alcohol does not burn off completely. Nope. Um, if you're quick cooking like I am, it will almost not. I mean, you're still going to have alcohol in here. Um, not enough to make a person drunk, clearly. But no. if you're braising. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Um, or stewing, cooking for a long period of time, put it in the crock pot with your chili, then that alcohol is going to cook off a lot more to the point that it's not hardly even there. So cooking time. So is this, I'm going to hit my mic real quick. Okay. So what you're saying is that this is not technically 14 year old friendly? Well, I think anytime you're cooking with alcohol, it's 14 year old friendly. It, I mean, yeah, it was three quarters of a cup, but it's not. Yeah. That's a few ounces. You know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cool your, your glass off. But you, you still haven't even finished your first glass, honey. Um, the milk or cream. I'm using cream. Um, whipping cream here. You could use half and half whole milk. Don't go lower than whole milk because you need the fat to make this work. I brought this to room temperature, too. Not quite room temperature, but mm -hmm. um, because if you put cold cream and hot liquid, it's going to do weird things. Oh, that's so good. 
I think that one's my best yet. Okay. Too bad you didn't notice because... I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So all said, I've got about half a cup of cream in here. Yeah. And mostly because I have a whole lot of spaghetti and... We do. Yeah. And zoodles. And zoodles. So if I were just doing the scallops and a potato, then half of this would be plenty. But I'm making my cream sauce here to go with it. Um, I have just enough lemon left to zest. Yeah. It goes with the limoncello. Well, I have lemon juice in it. Yeah. But I didn't zest any before I got started. So well, that's fine. So lemon zest, mm -hmm. just enough. You don't want to get all the way, you know, don't get down to that white pith. Yeah, I don't want to get the, the pith. Ew, that's bitter and nasty. And don't waste the lemon juice, use it. Yes. If you're not using it in your sauce, use it in your liquor. Use it somewhere. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, pasta water is starchy, and the starch and the pasta water will help thicken, thicken everything, yeah. pull it together, and make it stick to your pasta. Mm -hmm. God, that looks scrumptious. It smells that way, too. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally ready. I'm ready to eat, and we're just barely 36 minutes into this shindig. There's that. Eat your heart out, Rachel Ray. Hey, I learned a lot from Rachel Ray. That was great. We'll just put them on there. Well, yeah, I know you did, but. But you know what I love most about Rachel Ray? She is not a trained chef. Really? She's just like a line cook She's from the restaurant days. Raised in the restaurant. Yeah. So you could do this with only the zoodles, yeah. only the pasta. Mix it like I'm doing. Well, this, does Jay make a uh, limoncello martini? to go with vodka sauce i don't think you so. know we do a lot of things like they do it's kind we of weird do. it's but... it's sad that you know it's like a formulaic s sensation <laughs> see how pretty that is so i'm just um i undercooked the pasta just a wee bit because it's gonna pick up some more cooking time in here all right i'm gonna oh, that looks so good bringing that back up to high you want the rest of this sauce that's a little liquidy still so you want that to boil yeah to low boil a little bit yeah to kind of thicken up okay so we're gonna let that do that i love this pan too that that's a rachel ray pan i believe it is <laughs> i you know we, we like rach we know. like who we like right yeah we i've do. been watching her since she appeared how old am i how old is she so yeah. it's been like 25 years yeah, something like that you've been watching her before she had a daytime tip Oh, I have, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I have two favorites that I have watched that long. She is one. Your mama says your two and a half years' experience as a salad bar girl in the that first counts, salad bar in Carbondale. That so counts. Made you a chef, she says. Yeah, <laughs> definitely counts for something. At age eight. Yeah, at age eight. And, yeah. Well, I, you know, I bossed him around too in the kitchen a little I'm bit. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I would, I would not, not put that one behind you at all. Don't make me like choke. Yeah, I'm sure you bossed every single person around. Said, make it like this. All right. See, that's starting to kind oh, of it's thicken up. Yeah. Thickening up. Yeah. It smells so good. I know, because I added an extra thing of garlic. That's why. I right. need this. <sighs> Are you trying to? I am, yes. Well, this is what he used to do to me in college. I did not. I did no such thing. Okay. I couldn't cook them, though. Not like I can now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to chop up just a little bit more of the tarragon so we have a pretty little garnish. Uh oh, your mom's telling secrets. Shit. <laughs> She doesn't know all the secrets. She says she let you fire a chef who was. I. She did. Where's my knife? I don't have a clue. I, I moved have, it so I won't I cut myself. I have not been anywhere near bladed objects tonight. 
Um, Nowhere near bladed objects. Er herbs, by the way, when they're whole, you don't really have to cut them. You can snip them. You can smack them. All you want is something to release that oil out of them. Yeah. All right, that's perfect. So here's what we're going to do now. One more little trick. I'm wondering if anybody's watching on YouTube. I don't know. I'd love for somebody from YouTube just to say hi. Just that's all you got to do is say hi. All this juice that has come out since I cooked them. Yeah. Guess what that's going to do. Um, die on the, oh, that's, oh, it's going. In that the, is flavor, this, baby. Oh my. Mix that in. Oh, that looks so good. And we're just going to nestle these right in here. And if I were serving this, well, I am serving you this are to serving my family, this but to me. Um, I'm going to just carry this right to the dining room table as is. And yeah. these little guys nestled back in here are going to heat up, come back to temp. I'm going to pull a little bit of that out so we can. You get some zoodles? We can. You gotta taste grab that. Some zoodles. I did. All right. Well, I don't well here's know. another zoodle. Thank you. Mostly that first grab was zoodles. And turn that off. I don't know about you, but I think there's a whole lot of noodles here, not zoodles. Oh. That was a big piece. Is, right that, there. A, is that a tarragon take me away? That's a tarragon take me away. All right. right there, there you go. Bam. There we go. Mm, I can't say that on. <laughs> yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> Screw him hey, and his hey, trademarks. Hey, Screw be good. Screw him and his trademarks. You have had a Monday and you have had a Monday night, so you be good. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not being good. He can screw him and his trademarks. Bingo. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, folks. That's a hot handle. That looks delicious. I'm going to, um, you can't touch it till I take his picture because I'm not going go to buy another two three. pounds of, what, where, Over who? there, that way. It looks way. a little bit better I think screen. it's better over here, yeah. That shows you what we're having. Better. That's what's for dinner tonight, folks. <laughs> right next to my lemon drop. Well, that's that's having for dinner tonight, too. Um. So, honestly, I would take that. If I were having a dinner party, straight to the table in yeah. a pan, just like that. Get a, uh, what, what are those things called? Trivets? Oh, yeah. Well, definitely you'd have to put a trivet or cutting board or something under yeah. it so it wouldn't. Um, I use a lot of, I have a nice little wooden cutting board collection. I use that a lot. Chartreuse or whatever. Charcuterie. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have another martini, chili bean. I'm sorry. I'm empty. Look, out of here. I'm okay. Not, I'm not empty here, though can't cut into a scallop because I have to you gotta save those for the pictures. I have to take his picture and I'm not going to buy more scallops to do that. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Yep. I've never made the vodka sauce before. My martini girl. Mm -hmm. That is some good chisney. Mm -hmm. Wow. You should try this at home. This is one of those that you should try at home. Mm -hmm. For sure. That is some good yep. stuff. Yeah, make this because yeah, make here. No, make, go, make go easy these. on these. <laughs> no, don't listen to her. Go easy. Go strong on these. But have somebody who's good enough to make this stuff. It's so good. Wow. Um, and if you don't want scallops, can't have scallops. Can't find scallops. Shrimp. Shrimp works just as well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of the same basic sear in the pan preparation, and they'll cook roughly about the same time, yeah. amount of time. Um, so good. Or not at all, I got, and I just. Like a little taste of pepper. Oh, uh, yeah, on cracked there. pepper yeah. on the, yeah, fresh, the zoodles. Fresh cracked pepper. Um, or just build the pasta, Man. the vodka cream sauce with some butter as opposed to pan drippings. Um, or butter and olive oil combined mm. and build your sauce that way and just put it over spaghetti mm -hmm. or fettuccine or linguine or whatever. Um, there's a lot you, of ways if, you could If you're trying do this. to add vegetables, vegetables that's it. to a, to a non-vegetable eater's diet like me. That is what you have to do. You do this shit and yeah. 
lemon drop martinis do not, Bam. however, count as your fruit fruit serving for the day. Yes, they do when you use when you use fresh <laughs> fresh lemon juice. They do totally count. I'm telling you right now. That's it. How long did it take us? Forty five so, minutes. Forty five minutes from yeah. top to bottom. Yeah, we're done. Okay, that's all. Um, I doubt you'll have scallops left over. Uh, uh, uh. If you do. <laughs> no, nope, it ain't happening. Well, but hang on a second. If you do, reheat. In right here. Oh, my Lord. you! I'm right cutting there. you off. Um, if you have scallops left over, reheat in the oven for about 10 minutes on a low heat. So 350 at the highest. Um, that way they don't dry out and they don't get all rubbery and too firm on you. Or mince them up, mix them with some crab meat, and make crab cakes. Those would be my two suggestions for leftover scallops. If by some strange, you just, know, just don't anomaly, have, just you don't have, have some. leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> eat just, just eat them all. <laughs> eat the scallops first. Although that sauce for the pasta, mm, that's mm, really good. You're glad you married me, aren't you? <laughs> Why do you think I married you? I mean, come on now. It's uh, we'll have to do boyfriend chicken someday. We all right, all that's right. all. Thank that's you, everybody. Uh, next week, hang on. Next week, we are not going to be live. We'll we're going to skip a week um, because we're we're preparing for a 14 year old to start her freshman year in high school. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need one of these. We're going to need a lot of these. <laughs> We, we may just come online just to drink. We one might night, do that you know? one night yeah. after school starts. So yeah. we're going to, we're going to skip next week because of that. And then we'll be back the week after, after we kind of get through. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what we're going to cook. We figure it out sometime during the week yeah. when we get hungry for something. And that's what we do. You know what? You guys tell us what we're going to cook. That would be totally awesome for you guys to give us some suggestions. Yeah. Tell us. There, there's not much I can't handle. Acorn yeah. squash. Mm, that's kind of on the no list. But beyond that, I'm good. Think about this. You've got a guy who doesn't eat vegetables that much. You're meat and potatoes and I'm meat beer. Meat and potatoes. And rum. And rum. Vodka. Vodka. You can tell we're from the 1990s. Bourbon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, know, you, you got you got three things that you like for me to do, but you guys tell us what we're going to have next Monday. That's what I'd love for you to do. Because so, drop us a comment. What are you yeah. hungry for? Yeah, what are you hungry we'll for? We'll pick something. We'll pick it. We'll find the one item that speaks to us. Well, there me. might be more than one. We'll just do more I, more Mondays. Yeah, yeah, but we're definitely going to pick one. <laughs> Your eyes. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks.